This is Dolany TV, guys. A big welcome back to NHL 17 here on the channel. Uh, I, I don't even know where to begin with this episode. You see it says Sim to Draft. If you missed last episode, it was year 7. Round 1 against the LA Kings. Didn't go my way. Didn't go the Oilers' way. It was ugly. Let me tell you how much. It was not a good performance by us. A lot of goals let in. I realistically don't think it was Mrazek's fault. I have to blame the defense. I mean, what did we allow? We allowed 5, 10, 14, 16, 17, 19 goals in 6 games. That's 3 and a 6th goal a game. Like... We should, with this offense we have, should have been able to win this series easily. We should have been scoring five a game, no issue there. But it was the Knights the offense chose not to show up the first two games. That's what really burned us. When the offense didn't show up, things got screwy quick. So, right? Difficult. It's a hard pill to swallow. That's fine by me. We move on, we get better, we try our best next year. Pulley RV, Goldobin, Kucherov, Jones. Leading point getters, but notice the top four, five point getters combined for three goals. The goal scoring wasn't coming from anywhere. Three goals was the max goal by anyone. I mean, two guys, Brickley and... and... McDavid had three goals. Okay, I'm I'm happy. Fourth liners getting three goals in a playoff series. Hey, great. McDavid, hey, three goals. The assists weren't there. A couple more goals. This series could have gone anyway. Okay, that's enough. Me whining about this playoff run. I'm done. The other concern I have for this episode is I believe my GM contract is up at the end of this. That's going to be tough, because if we get to that point, I don't know what I want to do at this point. So I may need your guys' help. Let's get through May. Let's get up to about June 12th. See what the what it all says here. Locker room chemistry. Of course we lost locker room chemistry. That's that's a given. This team, uh, I've been struggling with it since about year three when we lost the Cup to Toronto. We go on incredible stretches, and then we just can't figure out what we're doing that's I realistically we just forget to play defense we forget to score we forget we've never forgot to goaltend thankfully that's been our biggest thing we've never forgot to goaltend but this team doesn't show up half the time we're president's trophy winners two years running and we didn't show up in the first round I mean some guys have brought up a good point it's it's a curse in this game sometimes it is that's true but you gotta, you gotta at some point figure out how to win no matter what. And that's seven years into this, I should have that figured out. Seven years, we have our core players, we have our guys who have come in, we should be good, but I still haven't figured out how to make this team win every single time. And that, I mean, sometimes there's something to be said for it's difficult to do that in a video game given the simulation rules and stuff like that but at the same time this team is built no matter what to do its job and win Stanley Cups at this point no issue three lines and a fourth line that should be able to do as good a job as any other team's third line right that's the way we've built this team the defense you guys harp on me the defense isn't as strong as it should be Reason it isn't, I was really hoping Chikrin would develop into something that he never developed into, so realistically that's where I gotta own up a little bit. Doesn't look like our contract's up. Nashville's got the first pick. That's important. Uh, failed to upgrade uh, concessions. We need more parking for the arena. Failed to upgrade. Uh, brutal, brutal, brutal. Let's go simulate up to this day and see what the uh, retired players are going to be. 21st via retired players see if we lost anybody we didn't lose anybody in uh, the forward skating positions but in goaltending did we lose somebody no we didn't so this team doing not bad this team doing okay um see 
Marc-Andre Fleury lost after 474 career wins. Tuka Rask, 354 career wins. Orlamov, 315. Halak and Reimer, and then it kind of falls off after that. That's okay. Uh, the skaters, let's see what big-time skaters we lost. Any 40-year-olds, I wonder? Andre Kopitar at 35. We lost him. He was nowhere near point of game. Corey Perry, 38 years old. Bobby Ryan, 36. James Neal, 35. Blake Wheeler. David Krejci played... Probably a year past his expiration date. Paul Stagny finally retired, thankfully. He was killing, killing San Jose. Weber retires. Pretty decent career for him. A couple of good guys here, everyone and down in the bottom. Uh, Alexander Radulov in 687 games retires at age 36. A couple of free agents. And then it gets more interesting here. Komarov, he had a, another year left at least, and he, re he chose to retire. So that's fine. Uh, don't need to edit the trading block. Let's go into the draft here. Uh, what do we got? We got six minutes on this episode. Yeah, this episode can run a little bit longer. I don't know. Do we have a first round pick? Let's see here. Um, yep, we do. So we have a first round pick, number 26 overall, and then we don't have a lot of other stuff. So sim options. We're not going to trade up. We're not going to do anything. We've got a team that wins. We just need to go. We're going to find out what we can get. Colorado Avalanche are offering a third round pick for Morosa and Wilford. It's not a bad trade for a seventh defenseman and a bottom six forward. Um, do I want to try and gamble? You know what? Yes, I will. Let's find out. Uh, so a couple medium elite uh, snipers and playmakers off the board so far. Top six forward, top four D, nothing crazy in this uh, draft. Really not nothing crazy here. Uh, Henry, elite goaltender, Card, elite sniper, Felino, and then, oh man, Buffalo got screwed. Beb Bebco, Edwards, and man, this uh, Guerrero looks like a pretty solid pickup. Let's find out what we're looking at in terms of first, second round players. Zbruev is a centerman, two way. We don't need centers, possibly need defensive defensemen. A defensive stud would be a good pickup. Um, this kid, none unknown. I'm not going to go draft that Markstrom kid. I think, realistically, what we got to go with is this uh, Pouliot kid here. I know Pouliots haven't worked out so far for the Edmonton Oilers, but at 18 years old, 6 foot 0, eh, I don't like those numbers though. Markstrom is a gamble. You know what, Pouliot, welcome to the team. Let's see what's going to go. And he will be a low top four, so Marcus Niemelin in potential. I will take it. Let's sim the user pick and see what else we get if we get any trade offers here. This is a... Uh, look, I'm, I'm not impressed with this year. Not worried too much. We get a second round pick here. I'm going to figure out what we're going to do in terms of this pick. Let's find out if we have any guys that might come in. Seventh defenseman, top nine forward, top six D potential. Third round, not like this. Uh, fringe starter, high potential, bottom six forward here, a couple of guys, a playmaker on the right wing, uh, Boschman, drafting Canadians this time around it looks like, uh, Gilbert Boschman, uh, scouted him four times, six foot two, you know what, let's take a chance on him and see what he can do, he's going to be a low top nine, okay, that's not great, but uh, farm system picks, right, farm system picks. Third round, number four pick, so we get another chance at some guys we didn't uh, possibly draft last time round. And fringe goaltender Josephson, fourth round. Okay, don't want to do that. Third round, we can get uh, Recky, Guerrero, Guerrero, or Perez, and power forward centerman. We're really stacked on the center core. I think we need to go on the left wing, take this Perez kid, and see what we can get out of him. Low top nine, so not another good draft. Um, oh man, these late rounds, I've never had good luck with them, but I've had some decent luck. We're going to go fourth round and then maybe fifth round if we have time for it. We've got our third round pick here in this draft as well. Uh, 26th overall, let's see, Hardikainen, and we're seeing not much here. What do we got in terms of draft rounds here? Tumainen, we don't want another defensive defenseman. AHL top four, really don't like that. Trombley. Let's go get this Trombley kid, see what he's good for. Medium top six, so he's an offensive defenseman, so I keep hitting off a trade. He could turn out to be a Caleb Jones type. 
That's what we've seen so far in this GM mode. So if we get Caleb Jones type players in a draft in the third round, I'm happy. Fourth round, 19th overall, not too bad. Let's find out uh, where we're we ending up. Got ourselves a bottom six forward potential in Kuhlman. Let's go take this Kuhlman kid power forward on the right wing. And he's going to be a medium top nine. That's a victory in the fourth round. We'll go fifth round and that's... Oh, we got one more pick here in the fourth. I don't know. I must have made a big trade. I think I did. And we've got ourselves an exact seventh defenseman. You know what? Or do I want to take the sniper bottom six? I'm going to take Lukowicz here and see exactly what we can get. Low. That was a burn. That was a bad burn. I, I screwed that one up. Okay. Draft strategy, not my strongest. Fifth round, and then that'll be our last draft pick. Hopefully pick up a stud in the sim. Uh, seventh defenseman potentials here. High seventh defenseman. Sixth round. Uh, what do we got? We've got some fifth, sixth round guys here. Corvo. No, you know what? I'm going back to the... Going back to what we get. Um, let's see here. Got high in fits. No. Petrol. Petrol. Offensive defenseman all the way. Low top six. That works for me. Sim to user pick. Let's see. Our next pick is here. We're going to sim options and sim entire draft the rest of the way. That'll be quickly folded up. We should have gotten a lot of picks here. Kuhlman, Lukovic, Petrol, Travika, Cooper, and Nisimov. So we got a decent amount of rookies in. This should be good for a little bit of our GM mode moving forward. Let's go see what these rookies are doing, the contracts that are up, and hopefully what we got left in this GM mode to do. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of RFAs. Jordan Volnitsky about to be an RFA. So our fourth line center, he's got to step it up, possibly be our big time center next year. Trade Dauphin, do something, I don't know. we got to figure it out. This team's got to win. Dauphin was a big disappointment this year, let me tell you. All right. Let's go find out. Chikrin ending next year. Dry Saddles unsigned, all that. Um, let's see. What are our unsigned rookies? Boschman, 60 overall. Bergquist is a 69. And then you got a couple guys here. No one really, really important. Bottom six. Buse, he's up to a 70, so he'll be on the team. And that's about as good as it gets. Ristolainen, Cardwell, Aginla. Juris is pretty upset. Might need to trade him away. A lot of RFAs as well. That's the problem. This whole team pretty much needs to be re-signed. We have 59 mil. We have about 21 mil in cap space to work with. Well, Niski shouldn't be asking much. And a bunch of farm guys. I mean, Nimalinen shouldn't be asking much either. Jaguar shouldn't be asking much. It's really the big guys we have to worry about is Ehlers, Goldobin, and Brickley, and Drysaddle. So let's go offer what Drysaddle wants. He wants seven million across uh, a couple years here. So it gets it gets risky. No matter what we do, he we could sign him for eight years, but I realistically think five years at uh, say six point six is where we need to settle with Leon Drysaddle. I'll offer that to him right now. Let's go take a look at what we've got in terms of goaltenders. Picard coming up, fringe starter. We sign him. Uh, not a bad pull. I think he's pretty good. Hodges, low starter, up to a 73. Okay, that's good. And Spructus could be good. We'll see. Guys, that's uh, where we're going to leave it. I think this team is in good shape. Mrazek hitting his prime. And I really think we're going to be fine. We just need to find a way to win this year. Guys, thank you for tuning in. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like. And I will catch you guys in the next one.